I can refine the mesh right within this model by going to mesh and updating the sizing and so on. And then I can update the results. Instead, what I'll do is I will create a copy of this model and then refine the mesh on the copy um, and then so that I have both the um, the original mesh as well as the refined mesh and the results on both meshes readily available to me. So close out of mechanical and that puts you back in the project page. Uh, if it doesn't, click on the yellow icon here. And right click on model and say duplicate. Twiddle your thumbs while it creates a duplicate of our original model. And let me rename it. So I'll call it, you can click anywhere within that field, and I'll call it stepped shaft refined mesh. Okay, and enter. And so I have a copy now. Note that the geometry and engineering data are shared. So for instance, if I want to modify the geometry, I'll have to do it here, and that'll propagate through to the refined mesh also. And so now let's um, refine the mesh on this model. So right click, I can right click on um, anywhere really. I'll right, I will double click on setup. And um, so let me go into mesh and let me get rid of the symmetry visualization for now. So I will click on symmetry and I'll just delete it. Okay, and then I will look along Z. So that's my original mesh. And if I expand mesh here, I see that, you know, you might recall that we put a face sizing in and we set the element edge size to be 0.2 inches. And I'm going to, so I played around with this and to get a quite a nice refined mesh, let's reduce that from 0.2 to 0.05 inches. So that's uh, smaller by a factor of four actually. Okay, and um, also what we did, if you recall, is under mesh uh, sizing, we had changed the um, curvature normal angle. So let's set that to one degree. And that controls the number of elements that um, ANSYS will put in that curvature. Okay, and so each element within that um, can span at most one degree. And it turns out I also have to change the minimum size to get more elements through here, otherwise uh, and so I'll say, oh, the element is, um, cannot be smaller than 0.05. So I changed that to 0.02. Okay, so you have to play around with these settings, you know, to get uh, a suitable mesh. And I have done that. And let me update the mesh. And so you can see I have a much more refined mesh. And if I use the right mouse button and zoom in, uh, I can see that you know I have a lot of elements through that turn. So, and I can go back to the previous view by clicking on that icon here. 
And if I go and to mesh um, and look at the statistics, I see that I have around 8,700 elements and 27,000 nodes. So that's a very refined mesh actually for this geometry. And to get the new results, I will update the solution. And so ANSYS will redo the solution, i.e., you know, calculate the stiffness matrices um, and uh, the local stiffness matrices and assemble it into the global stiffness matrix, invert it, and get nodal displacements, and then extract the different deformed shape and the normal stress. So, and if I look at the normal stress, I see that the maximum has changed slightly. And so now my stress concentration factor is 1.316. So save the project. And you can close out of mechanical. And you can close answers. And if you go back to your working folder, you see that you know you have this .wbpj file and the associated folder and note that you need both of these to to retrieve your entire project